going on guys so like I said we're gonna be doing the ultimate garage stereo build but we're gonna be using car audio components in this instead of just house audio we're gonna do it on a budget so this is the ultimate car audio home garage budget build let me turn this fan on So we went ahead and we got a budget uh, receiver and amplifier. This one is the Pile P3001BT. So here we have a remote FM AM antenna. Also have the Bluetooth antenna. We're gonna go ahead and set this up and give it a little listen. So there's gonna be a complete build video on all this. So y'all stay tuned for that. So it's a very basic setup. This is a rack mount amplifier. Let me go ahead and move the camera for y'all so y'all can see a little bit better. So what we're going to be using in this system is going to be some tens, some six and a half, and some super tweeters. But for right now, the purpose of this video, we're just going to be testing this out. That's why this video is labeled the Pile P301 BT test and review we want to see what this can do <clears throat> so this model is 4 ohm and 8 ohm compatible and i have read where you can put it in 2 ohm and they don't recommend 1 ohm so we're going to keep it around the 4 and 8 ohm range anyway so it doesn't really matter we're going to be using some sky high audio wire crack this open we just got some red and black <clears throat> 16 gauge or did I get 18? 16. We got the Audio Legion 10s. <clears throat> I'm going to get some more of these, but these are the Audio Legion uh, compression drivers. And they're horns. <clears throat> right there. And I got to go grab it. going to be using some Audio Legion six and a half as well. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to hook up a few of these speakers, do a test run on everything, and see how it does. <clears throat> so the reason I'm going with these six and a half is because I got these damaged. So why not use some damaged speakers? Um, the compression drivers are fine and the tens are fine. It's just those six and a half, and it's a home audio setup, so garage setup. Uh, let's see, yeah. So here's my install bay. This is just for me to verify polarity on everything before everything gets put into the box and afterwards. That way I know nothing got mixed up while I was installing it. Just a little added security. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and we've already unboxed it. So let's go ahead and start hooking everything up. I'm not going to be using the FM AM uh, receiver, at least right now. <coughs> We don't have any microphones, no coax, <clears throat> and no fiber. <clears throat> well, all right. So it does not come with batteries for the remote, but I can get some triple A's out the house. We need 120 volts. So we'll hook up the 110 to the wall. It does have an optical switch. I mean, a, a voltage switch. So if you're in another country, you can do that. Here is the Bluetooth antenna, so we'll go ahead and install that as well. This can run USB, uh, SD cards, all kinds of stuff. So there's that. Let's go ahead and get a couple speakers out. We'll get the undamaged one. Use one of those. Compression driver. I opened one of these earlier. And all of these speakers are 8 ohm. So I'm only going to use two on each channel. So there'll be two eights. I mean, yeah, no, two six and a halfs, two tens, 
and two tweeters per channel. There's the four channel amp. We're not going for overkill here. You know what? I've got one of these tins already open as well. So instead of opening a whole bunch of stuff, let's just use the already open ones. That one's not open. dirty from sitting around but it'll be all right so let me go ahead and get this all hooked up and we'll come back to it in a second Okay, so now we have it hooked up. Obviously, it's not going to look like this, and these speakers will be in a box. But, let's go ahead and lower y'all down a little bit. Got to make sure the camera is out of my way, so I'm going to block it. Let's turn it on. No disc. Please add disc. Uh, let's see. Mode. Input USB SD. Bluetooth mode. Down. Let me go ahead and connect via Bluetooth. Pile Pro, it popped right up. It's like lower the treble, the bass, all that good stuff. Mic volume we don't need, echo we don't need. We're connected, so let's go to Spotify and we'll. Uh, so we can go to YouTube and play some copyright free music. Super horn, a 10, and a 6.5 and are screaming, and we're not, nowhere near full volume either. Um, we are approximately, let me see, we're approximately about 60%, maybe. Wow, and I don't have anything really set. I haven't gone through EQ, nothing like that. So let me hit the EQ. Uh, learn how to do this but um, just based on the treble and the bass right here this thing is nice for the price it's $150 I'll leave a link in uh, the description to where I got it on Amazon um, but yeah I don't know how well it sounds for y'all but let's try something else so you wanna go with me 
you're talking like you think you're royalty. You think that I'm afraid, but I don't pray. I heard you question my stability. You think I'm fall just like a guillotine. But I am here to stay. Won't look away. We don't know a true RMS rating on it. It says 3,000 watts. It's pile. We don't know. Um, I'm going to say 1,000 RMS probably out of all four channels, so 250 per channel. But once we get the speakers in the box, the box built, well, the box is already built. It's got to be sanded and painted. Uh, we're going to do a really cool theme, so stick around. Subscribe to the channel. It's going in the garage, and it's going to be super loud. So hopefully the road mic on this camera picked it up. Um, but if not, I do have a new one coming because this one has been giving me problems. And uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions about this unit, feel free to ask. I am going to be doing a lot more testing.